Check it out. The weightless Texas rig. Such an awesome way to fish, even in the snow. I know this is crazy, but this is a warm spring and there's bass in it. And uh, you can see it's kind of snowing, storming. Barometric pressure is really low. And weightless Texas rig Senko in really shallow water. It's super stealth, super awesome. It's actually a mega bass dot crawler, but you get the idea. Weightless stick bait. Money. Dang. All right, let's see if I can pop one. Just come out to the edge, right where this comes in, and I fling that weightless stick bait out there. I like to cast past the target, pull it right back down in. Put my reel covered in snow. Just let it sit there, and when you feel that tick, ba-boom! I like to, don't eat this thing. So I feel, I feel a tick, I let it set, and then I reel up my slack and just pull on it to see if he's there. And if I feel anything, I just, boom, hammer him. Here it is in action again. Just bomb it right out there and let it soak. This is a sweet little channel in this hot spring. It has some current flowing through it. I know there's a bass in here. And so I just milk that with a weightless stick bait right through there. I like to throw it on a 7.3 medium heavy action rod. And then I also have a loose speed spool bait cast. Job done. I only use like 10 pound test. Oh, felt a tick right there. I must have spit it out or something. Oh, they got it. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Love the stick bait. So awesome. Snow bass in the channel. How cool. Dude, throw that thing in the snow. Good. That's got to be a little bit of a shell shock. Go from a hot spring into the snow. No wonder he's just paralyzed like that. These hooks so good. I'm gonna need some pliers to get him out. Oh yeah, hold him up again. Tough conditions. Weightless stick bait. It's the only way to go. Nice bass. See you later, dude. Get back in that current, get warmed up. There he goes. All right, so this is how you'd use a weightless Texas rig. I'm gonna show you how to rig it up on your hook. First, you grab your stick bait, like we used today, and you thread this baby so it lays perfectly flat, and you want it just slightly above the eye of the hook. That makes it the most natural and awesome. So what you wanna do is take the hook point, go straight down in, go to the bend of the curve, and then just a little bit more and then pop it straight out the bottom like that. Then you twist it up and around onto the hook. This is a three uh, offset Gamagatsu hook. And there it is, perfect, right? Just a little bit above the eye. And then the key is to see where 
the back of the hook is on the, the Senko or the stick bait. And right there is where you want to put your hook point. So I mark it with my finger and then take that hook point, go straight in, straight up, make sure it's centered, and then lightly lay that thing on the top of the plastic and pull it the rest of the way. There it is, a perfectly straight, weightless Texas rig. This thing crushes them, as you could see, and uh, it's the go-to bait when nothing else works. You can put it on a Carolina rig, or you can, you know, put a little split shot weight on this if you want to get it down deeper, but most of the time, I just no weight, throw it out, and uh, it catches, it cracks bass, yeah, yeah. Thank you.